Okay, uh, today we will see web application step, web application deployment using Tomcat manager application. <coughs> okay. So here we have a two options, uh, deploy, deploy a directory or a where file located on the server means the where file or uh, the web application directory should be there in the uh, where Tomcat is installed. Okay. And one more option is where file to deploy. Select a where file to upload. So in this option, we need to place our where file in the server location. We can upload from anywhere. Okay. So first we will go with this option. <clears throat> so I have a sample application. So here, uh, sample application and sample application where file. I'm copying these two files to my Tomcat installation server. Okay. <clears throat> so you can right click on uh, folder. You can go to properties. You can take this path. Okay. And go to browser. So here context path means uh, what is the name you have you want to display for your application like uh, this is the sample application so i am giving the sample so here already sample application is already exists so the deployment will fail uh, anyway i will give you the same name okay uh, this is the context path to access our application from uh, from apache tomcat and this is the where our directory url in this location the directory is exist root desktop sample okay and then click deploy <clears throat> you are not authorized to view this page stop okay Okay, so here, uh, here is the response of that application. It is failed. Application already exists at path slash sample. So you can change the name. Sample one. And this is the application folder. And then click deploy. So, okay. Deployed application at context path slash sample one. So here sample application is there and sample one application also there. Okay. Like this, we can apply uh, web application directory if it is exist in the server. Okay. And another way is <coughs> and the where file, sample that where file is exists on the desktop. So here I am specifying the where file location. Okay, and then click deploy. So okay, deployed application at context path sample two. So here we have a sample two application. You can access application. It is just printing the hello world message, and the sample two also. These both uh, application directory and where file consists the same content. So that's why it is displaying the same data <clears throat> okay and in the application line in this in this row we have a some options here stop reload and apply okay if you want and apply any uh, deployed application we can click on this button if you click on this and apply it will and apply the uh, application okay if you want to reload your application you can click on this reload if you want to do some 
configurations you want to reload you can reload so your application will reload okay if you don't want to run this application you can click on the stop if you click on this stop means your application will not accessible the application is deployed in tomcat but the application will not will not be accessible okay so if you want to start application again you can click on start okay this time you can access okay so if you want to undeploy you can click on undeploy so there is no sample to application here okay it is undeployed application at context path sample 2 okay i am undeploying the sample 1 also okay it is undeployed and i am undeploying sample also okay so using this option we can apply web application directory or we can apply var file if those are exist in the server okay so i don't have tomcat installed server access okay but i have a var file with me i want to upload i want to deploy that var file in the tomcat so at the time we can access our apache tomcat url and we can deploy using the seller upload var file okay using this option we can uh, deploy var files remotely okay so using this option you can click on browse the var file is exists sample dot var file and then click open click deploy okay it is deployed here you can see sample application is deployed so uh, in this in this scenario i deployed the var i mm, browse this var file from my local system only so uh, again i will undeploy it from remote system so if you want to uh, deploy it from remote system we have to know the uh, tomcat server uh, ip address okay so you can check tomcat server ip address so this is the local address means uh, this url you can access in your local system only okay so this is the uh, network address okay this is the uh, network you can access the tomcat server using this address this you can access in the local only okay so you can i am copying this ip address and i am going to my physical machine so the port is 8080 okay so tomcat uh, remote tomcat is accessible to my physical machine okay so we have to log into the remote system okay click on list of applications choose a file so here i am uploading the var file to desktop sample dot var click open click on deploy okay it is deployed you can access sample application okay so here i am accessing tomcat as a remote okay and i am deploying from client okay so here i am uploading a var file from my physical machine to my remote system okay is it clear hello 
Are you able to hear me? Okay. <clears throat> so, using this, we can apply where file or directory if those are exist in the server. Okay. Using this second option, we can apply where file remotely. Okay. Okay. So I'm end applying this one. Okay. So now I will apply Jenkins where file in the Tomcat server. Okay. So click on choose file, downloads, Jenkins, Jenkins.var, open, deploy. So this web page is not available, it means it is thrown some error. Okay. Uh, how we can see this error? We have to go to, we have to connect to Tomcat server and we have to check the log file. Okay. So now we can go to Tomcat installation location, user, ESR local, Tomcat, Apache Tomcat, logs. We can open this Catlina dot out. So we are uh, we got error from the manager application. So we have to open the manager, manager log. Okay. This is the eighth, sixth. Ninth, this one. It will create a date wise file, uh, date format. Okay. Every day it will create one file. Okay. So here you can see the exception fail, apply upload failed. Exception is file upload base size limit exceeded exception. The request was rejected because its size exceeds the configured maximum okay it is configured this much size okay and we are trying to upload the where file with this size means uh, the target server is uh, default file upload size is 50 mb okay here we are uploading 60 mb file okay so it is not accepting the where file so how we can change the uh, file upload size okay so you can go to tomcat installation directory web apps manager manager application is there right so using this manager application only we are uploading the where file into tomcat server okay you can go to manager web by for nf here we have web.xml okay open this web.xml okay here you can see Multi-part config. This is the 50 MB max. Okay, max file size and max file max request sizes. Okay, you can increase the size. Okay, this is the 50 MB. You can if you want to 100 MB or 200 MB, you can uh, calculate and you can uh, mention your uh, new size here. Okay, here I am just appending one before the value okay and save it okay okay and go to browser choose the var file click open deploy
okay this time it will work okay it is deployed jenkins where file into apache tomcat you can go to server you can see the web apps folder here jenkins where file is copied to the server location and the jenkins where file is extracted to jenkins directory okay so if you want access jenkins you can click on this link okay first time at uh, first time it will initialize the gui okay is it clear so your tomcat is running on 8080 port and your jenkins also running on 8080 port okay so your jenkins where file is deployed into the tomcat server is it clear any doubts So, like this, we can apply any number of applications in the Tomcat server. Okay. If you are applying more applications, you have to increase your JVM size. Okay. So, So next one is uh, this is using manager application we are deploying okay so i don't have access the gi gi access also i don't have okay i i have a uh, tomcat url okay i have some permissions on tomcat i want to deploy where file using and script okay how we can deploy uh, where file using and script okay so you can go to documentation tomcat.apache.org so here we have a doc uh, down go to download section click on tomcat 8 here we have a core yesterday we downloaded the core part right so here we have a, a documentation and some deployer and some extra jars are there okay here we have a deployer okay if you want to deploy uh, web applications using uh, and script we have to download this gif file okay in this gif file uh, it contains some uh, custom task jars are there okay we we have to use those jars and we can deploy the var file to tomcat okay so i think i have the Okay. Once you download the deployer, you will get this GIF file. Okay. Uh, okay. You can right click on that GIF file and you can extract okay it is already there okay you will get this like this folder you can go to that folder in this you can find lib directory and one sample build script file okay you can go to this lib directory in this lib directory we need four jars okay one is the Catlin iPhone and Ant Jar and uh, Tomcat iPhone Coyote, Tomcat iPhone Julie, Tomcat iPhone Utility. These four jars are required. Okay. Catlin iPhone Ant, Tomcat iPhone Coyote, Tomcat iPhone Julie, Tomcat iPhone Utility. These four jars are required to run uh, Tomcat Ant tasks. Okay. So we can place these four jars in your Ant lib directory. Or you can load these four jars 
in your build script okay so so here i here we have a sample build script also okay and okay so i have a sample web application okay this is the tomcat app is my sample web application okay so in this so this is the web application this is the uh, eclipse web application directory structure once we build this we will get the actual web application structure okay so in this src i have some servlet class and this web content i have some html okay and my web.xml and lib directories okay these four jars are required to my application okay so here is my build script to build the var file okay so you are you all are already know how to write a and script okay so i will explain this and script okay uh, here i uh, in the starting I, I define i have defined some properties okay so in the first line i am loading tomcat applied our properties file in this tomcat uh, tomcat applied our properties file uh, i have stored uh, tomcat url tomcat username and password okay or directly you can use those values here also okay so <clears throat> So here I specified some properties, and here uh, I have created one path element, lib path. Uh, these jars are required to compile my Java source code. That's why I created this path element. Okay, and these targets you already know. Clean target it will delete some build directory or where directory, and initialize in it it will make directories, and next one is compile. it will compile the java classes and it will place those files in the build classes okay and next it will generate the var file okay this is the generating the var file okay and these are the extra targets to deploy this web application into tomcat or uh, want to stop the application start the application and apply okay so first we will build this application okay so how we can build this application how we can run and script and if the build build.xml is exist in this directory if you type and it will automatically take the build.xml and it will run okay if it is different name we have to specify if and f tomcat apply.xml let me check the default target default was where okay so it will build the var file okay so here you can go to this build directory okay it is compiled java source code and placed here and this var directory we can see the var okay so you can see this build directory see this is the web application directory structure okay okay so here var file is created i want to deploy this var file right so we have to add tomcat and tasks so that's why uh, 
we are defined task defs here okay this is the class name to apply task okay okay this is the list down the applications okay some these are the uh, tasks available in the catlina iphone ant jar okay here i am just specified the tasks here okay or you can directly load the task def file like this you can directly load like this okay it, this will it will also work okay and so here i have created a targets for deploy stop start and deploy reload okay this is the deploy task okay this deploy task uh, taking the url username password path path means application context path and the var file location okay i will explain about this later okay so we have to edit the tomcat appliedr properties file okay so so tomcat okay so here i am running apply target okay okay uh, the deployment is failed it is thrown some error here you can see java dot net dot connect exception connection timed out okay means it is unable to connect to this url okay the actual url is this one okay the ip address got changed so we have to update the ip address here okay okay generally we will get this kind of exceptions okay okay if you get a connect connection time dot exception means you are unable to connect your tomcat server okay so again i will run this one this time also fail so this time what is the error java.io.io exception server returned http response code 403 403 means access is denied forbidden okay so why it is forbidden uh, this user has this user have manager iphone gi role okay this role is not sufficient to deploy var file through and script okay so we have to add one more role okay manager iphone script role okay so if we are updating the tomcat iphone users.xml or server.xml means we have to restart tomcat server okay because these are the xml files okay these files will load uh, tom, uh, tomcat server startup only these files will not load load every time okay that's why we have to restart the tomcat server okay if you have remote server access you can uh, directly restart from the gi okay you don't have access you can connect to putty also So you can connect to T. You can take your IP address, your remote system IP address. Okay, you can place here. And 
can click on load. Click on open. Network confused. Connection refused. Okay, maybe the firewall is blocking the 22 port. Okay, we have to enable the port in the uh, our server. Okay. So here I am shutting down this startup dot sh and and now you can run the command. Okay, here you can see the response. Okay, deployed application at context path slash tomcat. You can go to browser. Click on list of applications. Here we can see Tomcat app. You can access the app. Okay. This is my just submit form. Okay. Okay, like this, we can deploy the application using this and uh, using the and script. Okay. So here we have some other targets, right? stop start and and apply right so now i will stop the application stop so here you can click on list of applications the application is stopped you can try to access it is not accessible okay so i want to start the application click on the list of applications so here is running now okay so i want to und apply this one okay go to browser Click on the list of applications. See here, there is no Tomcat app. Okay, it is undeployed. Okay, using AND script, we can deploy web application into Tomcat, and we can we can stop the application. We can start the application, and we can undeploy the application, and we can reload the application also. Okay. So again, I will deploy this application once. Okay, it is deployed. List of applications, it is there. Okay, now the Tomcat app is already exists. Again, I am going to redeploy this one. Okay, so this time it is fail. Fail application already exists at path slash Tomcat app. Okay, so in the real time. We have to apply the same application every time. Okay, if any some fixes are given by developer, we have to redeploy again, uh, again, 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 and again. We have to redeploy the application. Okay, if it is throwing like this exception, how we can handle this? So that's why we have one more attribute to this deploy task update equal to true. Okay. So now we can run the deploy. It is deployed. So now we can go to browser, click on the list of application. Application is deployed here. Okay. Is it clear? Any doubts? If 
I am going fast, let me know. Okay. Okay, so previously we got the uh, access is denied issue, right? So to resolve that issue, we added one role to that user manage reference script role. So what are these roles? Where we can find these roles? Okay, so you can go to manager application. Okay, web apps, Tomcat installation, web apps, manager, and web by nf Open this web.xml. In this web.xml, we can find the roles. See here manager if and GUI, manager if and script, manager if and JMX, manager if and status. Okay. These four roles are available in the manager application. Okay, we can see the details about the roles. Go to documentation. See here, manager if and GA role, access to the HTML interface, means it is a GI interface, okay? Next one is manage reference status. Access to the server status page only. Okay, we can just access the server status page only. Okay, next manage reference script. Access to the tools friendly plain text interface that is described in this document and the server status page. Okay, if you, if any user have this manage reference script tool, that user can access the text interface and he can log into Tomcat and he can just check, check the server status. Okay. And manager if in JMX access to JMX proxy interface to the server status page. Okay. So he can also access server status page and he can watch the J, uh, Tomcat statuses using the JMX. Okay. Okay. We will discuss about this later much. Okay, and so let me create a couple of users in the Tomcat even user static symbol. Okay, here I have created four users. One, two, three. So so the second one is manager iphone script this one is manager iphone status manager iphone jmx okay save it and we have to restart the tomcat server dot slash shutdown dot sh dot startup dot sh now go to
So here, mm. so here the IP address is So here, login with Tomcat 3 user. So this Tomcat 3 user has the manager hyphen JMX row. Okay. This is the server status page. Okay. So if we click on list of applications, access denied. Okay. documentation you can access uh, complete server status you can see okay but cannot do any deployments okay you cannot do any deployments okay so next Tomcat 2. So this Tomcat 2 user has the manager account status row. Okay. So you can click on the list of applications. This user also doesn't have the permissions to access the uh, deploy console. Okay. So, but you can access complete server status. Okay. Next one, Tomcat one, Tomcat. Okay, this Tomcat one user has manager iPhone script role. Okay, you can click on list of application. This user also don't have permissions okay so you can see the complete server status okay so next one final one is tomcat this tomcat user has the managed event ga so he can access the html view okay this is the html gi view okay he can he can apply the applications okay and he can and apply the applications he can do whatever things are available in the desktop he can do okay sorry uh, what are the options available in the manager console he can do okay is it clear any doubts So and so this time uh, again I am going to deploy the application. So this time it is failed by same four not three because the user has changed target one. Okay. And see this manager from script role has the uh, text and he can access text interface. That's why. We have specified text here. Okay, you can see in the HTML manager fn GI HTML manager slash HTML. Okay, manager fn script role manager slash text. Okay, manager fn script role access text interface, manager fn GI role access HTML interface. Okay, so again, I will run this. Okay, now this time it is deployed. Okay. So.
okay you can find the documentation tomcat.apache.org okay you can see the today we are discussing about this deployer okay deploy on tomcat startup deploying on running tomcat server deploying using tomcat manager deploying using client deployer package we are okay so we deployed uh, where file and folder structure running tomcat okay and we deployed uh, a web application using tomcat manager okay deploying a client deployer package like and tasks okay and this manager manager also same almost we covered this manager thing also this configuring manager application access these these roles are we are configured in the tomcat user static ml okay and we can deploy a wireful using like this also okay text interface So next one. So uh, in this, uh, what is the issue here? Uh, here we are placed users here. If we are adding any users, we, we have to restart the Tomcat server. Okay. If I, I uh, even I add a new user, I don't want to restart Tomcat. Okay. And how we can do that? And here you can see password is plain text here okay i don't want to store users here okay so for that purpose also we can uh, integrate uh, we can store these users in the database also okay so tomorrow we will see how we can uh, time get integrated with mysql database and how we can store the users in mysql database okay so if we integrated with mysql database uh, even we add users any number of users we no need to restart tomcat server okay because that is the database it will fire a query every time and it will take okay we no need to restart tomcat server if we add users okay if it is integrated with the database okay Anything is missing. So we can apply. Uh, so in this example, we have to copy these four jars in uh, and clip directory. Okay, if you don't want to put these jars in ant clip directory, we have to change script like this. Uh, can copy this task there. So in this catlina.tasks file, these all tasks are available. Okay, so we are just loading the tasks file and we are placing the jar files as a uh, path, class path. Okay, so this time I will run this build file. 
task of class G, JSPC cannot be found. JSPC cannot be found. One moment. So these remaining jobs are also required to run external meeting. So yeah. web content we have run a flip. Okay. So Java X slash are over. Okay. So what is the previous one? Flip path. Servlet API. Some jars are required to compile the source code. So this time it is deployed. Okay, deployed application context. Okay. So like this also we can uh, configure hand script. Okay. Because uh, here uh, why it is failing previous. It uh, to compile the Java source code we require this servlet type and API jar because we have written some servlet class servlet code in the. Uh, so uh, java class okay so that's why it is and jasper also it, it, it need to pass the class so, so that's why these two dependencies are also required to compile the code okay otherwise these four to run the and tasks these four are required okay okay is it clear any doubts Okay, that's all for today. And um, tomorrow we can see remaining things. Okay, thank you all. Bye for today. And I, I have shared the sample applications also in the Dropbox. Okay, you can take those applications.